Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we are going to be doing the Hero Spotlight for the new character coming into the game, the Healer of the Beastmen, Phoenix. She's a wonderful looking character, we'll go over her stats, show you her abilities in battle and we'll be done with her, so let's get to it. So here we are with Phoenix the Beastman Healer. For the people that make the database or anyone interested, at the end of the video I'll be adding photos of each gear level so you know what gear you will need to farm for her and that can be added to the database early. Her stats come in at 1.4 million hit points, very low amount of hit points. She'll be very squishy, her speed is 201 so she's not a very fast character either but not the slowest in the game. Armor comes in at 17k, magic damage resistance 40k, magic, basic magic damage is at 154k, magic critical hit chance 29%, magic critical damage 241k, and as usual here are the more in-depth stats for anyone who wishes to look at them, feel free to stop it wherever you want, and do what you will. Now we'll go into the arena, we'll see her abilities, what they do, and just have a look at what she's like visually. Jumping into battle, we have Phoenix with her basic attack, Light of Mercy. It triggers the healer class mark, deals damage to one target. An allied pig boy performs a support attack on the same target. An allied Sun Wukong and Rock get 30% initiative. So that is pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and attack one of the kobolds here with her basic attack and have a look at what it looks like visually. We'll put this on the slowest speed. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Swipes out, kind of like that movie Shooter where they curve the bullet. She can curve a flower. Pretty cool. And Pig Boy follows up with the basic attack. I mean, is that going to add enough for him to be useful? Who knows, but yeah, pretty... The initiative boost to Rock and, and Wukong is pretty nice there. I like that. So we'll move on to her first special now. So moving on to her first special ability, we have Cleansing Flames. Remove all debuffs from all allied beastmen and from the ally with the lowest health and deals damage to these allies of 12% of their maximum HP per remove debuff. The damage ignores armor and magic resistance. The next time all the other allied beastmen and the ally with the lowest HP take damage, they won't die. Instead, they will recover 25% of their maximum HP. Increases damage output of all allied beastmen by the same percent as their missing HP and blocks debuffs cast on them for two turns. So she's got a bit of everything in her. She's a bit of... Zart, she hurts her own allies. I mean, Zart puts a, a bleed on his allies, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he has, uh, she has Ilios in her with the damage per health missing. She has a bit of Sacraf in her. It's uh, very interesting. She damages her allies though, but compensates with the Resurrect on death. She's not going to be very useful against Roynar teams. Pretty simple stuff. Roynar's going to wipe those buffs off you and you're just going to end up damaging your own your own teammates. But we'll go ahead and look at the ability in action. How does it look? Yeah. Okay, pretty cool. Got a floral theme to it. And as you can see, our allies have the resurrect ability on them. They have bonus damage and they cannot have debuff supplied to them. So pretty neat. I like it. The damage, I get it. She's a phoenix, fire, cleansing with fire, damage your allies. Makes sense. But yeah, to counter her, just use a hero that can remove buffs. That would pretty much set you up. We'll move on to her next special now. Moving on to her second special, we have Armor of Light. Restores 100% of maximum HP to another ally with the lowest HP and reduces incoming damage for all other allies from the next four attacks by 50%. All other allies are guaranteed to perform a counter-attack two times the next time they take damage. So pretty interesting stuff. As we can see, we've got Rock on really low HP. So in theory, he should be healed to full HP when we use our ability. Beautiful. That is by far the strongest heal in the game in terms of single target healing. There is no heal in the game that can restore a target's HP to full. Everything is percentage base with I think Lucky. I think Lucky or Azaria would have to be one of the heroes that can heal for the greatest amount but 100% we have not seen that before. It comes with a little bit of Lucky in her as well. She can apply the damage reduction 50% 
for the next four attacks. That's pretty decent. So she adds defensive capabilities to her team. This is a really neat ability. I really like it. Such a strong heal. It'll be interesting to see people using her on maybe a healing team again, if healing teams can come back. But yeah, that's a powerful heal. Really strong. All right, we'll move on to her passive and see what that is like. So moving on to her passive, we have Resurrecting Flames. At the start of the turn, she removes a debuff from herself that blocks the use of her special abilities. That's awesome. Has a 5% chance and an extra 20% chance per living ally from the Beastman faction to be resurrected after dying with 50% HP. After resurrecting, has a 100% chance to resurrect another ally from the Beastman faction with 50% HP and restores 40% of maximum HP to all other allies. So it is a lot of healing in this passive. The only part about it I don't like is has an extra 20% chance per living ally from the Beastman faction to be resurrected. That sucks because as you can see we've killed Rock on our team. So this has gone from a 100% chance to resurrecting her to a 80% chance. I wish that was just a straight up 20% chance per beastman on the team. I don't like that it has to be, they have to be alive. She should just come straight back to life. She's a phoenix. To be honest, this shouldn't even be faction dependent. This should just be part of her kit. When she dies, she's brought back to life. That, that makes much more sense. But we'll go ahead. We're going to attack the kobolds here. They should go ahead and kill our phoenix in a moment if they go ahead are they gonna hide or are they gonna attack they should attack yeah there we go and she dies and she's brought back with a rock as well so it's pretty cool pretty strong my yeah my only complaint about it is it shouldn't be faction specific and it shouldn't be a percent chance either she should just come back to life i feel like the resurrecting a random beastman character that should be the percent chance thing an extra percent chance per beastman on the team awesome makes sense because they're not phoenixes they shouldn't come back from from the grave that however should just be part of her kit so yeah pretty interesting character she's not horrible she has really low hp that's her downfall i don't know if that's intentional maybe it's intentional because they want her to die and then be brought back because half part of her kit is that she dies and she comes back doing this ridiculous amount of healing to your team 40 percent maximum hp to all other allies that's not even beastman specific it's dependent on her coming back to life though and that is beastman specific so it makes sense it's not mentioned twice it has a five percent chance so literally if you do not have any other beastman on the team she has a five percent chance of coming back to life i don't like that it really that's my only quarrel with her get rid of it i hope you can get rid of it other than that, yeah, pretty neat character. It'll be interesting to see how people use her. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself. And if you are after the gear, I will insert those photos now for you.